In this video, we're gonna quickly go over how to craft and upgrade your weapons and armor. So to do that, you will need to be aware of two different aspects of the game, the schematics and the materials. The schematics will actually dictate the items that you'll need and how they will contribute to the item and higher tiers are better. For example, we have a sacrificial dagger, tier two dagger schematic as we see down below. And we also have a balanced dagger tier one schematic. The tier two obviously will be better. For materials, it'll be the same idea where you'll have a bunch of different types of materials that you'll need. Cloth, leather, metal, runes, herbs, and other. Although for this, we're mostly gonna be focusing on cloth, leather, and metal. And as you see, we have tiers as well, but also for the items, you'll look at primary utility defensive slot or offensive slot and defensive slot, and you see what they will be contributing to each uh, weapon or item, weapon or armor you'll be creating. So we're gonna go ahead and craft a dagger. And we're gonna be looking at the sacrificial dagger for this one. So if you'll notice right here, we have the overall DPS range for the dagger that we will be creating. We also see that it needs eight metals as listed down here. And then for the utility, it uses three metals. And then for offense, it uses three cloth. And as you'll remember, there were values for all those different items, uh, crafting items, and how they will contribute to the overall weapon or armor. So for sacrificial dagger, we'll go ahead and grab eight metals. And if we had enough, you see that we would be at 216 DPS using a tier two common metal bloodstone. However, since I don't have enough of that, I can't use it. Well, we would have needed eight. So we'll look at the blue vitriol instead, which is actually a tier one common metal, which puts us at the lower range for the DPS. Now moving over to utility. Again, we'll look at bloodstone and we'll also look at blue vitriol. Bloodstone being the tier two common metal, we get plus five uh, to constitution. Blue vitriol being a tier one common metal, we only get plus three towards strength. And since we are looking at utility items, you can actually look at the utility slot and see how it will be added. Something of note on the bloodstone is that we would be getting a plus five constitution, but as you see below on utility, it says 1.5 constitution. That's because we're using three metals, so it would actually stack three times. So it would be a total of 4.5 constitution, and the game rounds up to five. Looking at the offense, it requires three cloth. Again, tier one, and tier two will give you different, uh, will give you a better uh, attribute. And as we look on this, it's the same as before, where we get a plus 6% heal on kill. And that's because on the offensive slot, we get a plus 1.75% chance to heal on kill. And that is stacked three times. So with our three items together, we see what our ultimate uh, output would be using this schematic in these three items. Now what we're gonna do is look at how we would upgrade our weapons. One thing to note is that it will show you the upgrades available for each weapon that you will have. And you can see what's necess what's allowed in each of these as well as what you might have equipped. Now here's something interesting to point out is that if you want to equip, if you want to upgrade a weapon that is equipped, it will not be displayed unless you are selected, uh, unless you are currently highlighting the character who has them equipped. So if I switch over to say Cassandra, it's not gonna show those daggers anymore that my Herald had. So that's kind of why you might be wondering why you don't see certain items. It's kind of a pain and I hope they actually change that so you would actually see that so you don't have to keep swapping around to see who's carrying what and deal with all that extra unnecessary menu swapping. So to um, upgrade an item, you would just double click, make sure again you're selecting the character if it's a weapon the character uh, is currently equipping. 
And for this, you would see the grip that I can select. And since I only have that grip, that's the only thing I can add. You would select it and uh, then ultimately you confirm changes. So what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna remove it and confirm the changes. And as you see, the grip is gone. So I'll go through the steps again, select the weapon, select the, uh, that you wanna upgrade the grip, select the grip you wish to upgrade, confirm the changes, and you're done. Something to note is that you can remove um, upgrades like the grip and pommels and you will save those upgrades in your inventory. And that is not the same as your runes. If I had a rune equipped here, my only option would be to overlay a different rune on top of it, which would destroy the previously equipped rune. So runes, you cannot take them back. All right, I hope this helps you guys get going on Dragon Age Inquisition. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll try to answer them and make sure to check out some of my other quick guides on basic um, engines and other video games, such as Transistor.